Hi guys, welcome back. If you are confused between SAP FICO and SAP P2P, SAP O2C or record to report or R2R, then you are not alone. Why I pick this topic? Everyday people used to ask me that which SAP course should I choose? Which one gives job faster? Can I go for SAP FICO or can I go for R2R? Lot of confusions are there, particularly if, uh, the new people. Most people are asking the wrong question. The correct question is which SAP role is companies are actually hiring? or in which role I am suitable, which one is the right job for me. So the, all these things we are going to discuss today. So first let's understand what is SAP FICO or what is the reality of SAP FICO. So as you know that SAP FICO is not one entry level job. So it is one consulting profile. So it is two products from SAP. So one is your financial activities, which is nothing but your FI and another one is your management accounting or costing. So when you are going to design the application on SAP platform by using these two products, so that time FICO is going to shoot into your requirement or it is going to fulfill the demand for the company's point of view. So when you will go for not only FICO, you take any module, you will find that when you will go for this type of jobs, so it needs detailed consulting skill is required, a vast experience is required experience from your domain point of view and the relevant experience. So we will discuss all these things. So when you will go for SAP consultant, what exactly you are going to do? As a finance consultant, you are going to design the finance process, you are going to configure the system, you are going to develop the business process into SAP platform, you are going to handle all the integrations, right? So if I integrations with MM, SD, PP, CO integration with PP. So multiple things we are going to do. So basically you are going to convert all the business process like your P2P, O2C, record to report, asset management, tax, all these things which right now customer is using in different application or maybe they are not using ERP. So you will convert those business process into SAP platform. And for that purpose, you need the particular module, FI, CO, MM, SD. These are the modules are uh, required. So that means when you will be there in the implementation project or even rollout project or in support project, you must have the, the required skills. So what are the skills required? And in this segment, companies are very strict. When they are going to hire the consultant, they have a lot of filtration they are going to do or they are going to do a lot of scrutiny here. Because the company's point of view will see, companies are not paying to a consultant that you will join that company and you will learn there. Right. So they are paying a consultant to deliver. That means if we are going to hire a consultant, so it is expected that how quickly consultant is going to deliver the skill or how consultant quickly consultant is going to solve our problem. Same thing if any IT company is going to hire one consultant. So same they are also expecting that how quickly one consultant should be there in the project or how quickly the consultant is billable. So that's why if you we'll check any job profile, you will find that experience is very very important when we will go for the consulting role so just to show you here i have opened the job portal the popular one that is nokri.com and here i am going to search here that is our sap fico so i'm going to add here sap fico consultant sap fico implementations sap fi like this i'm going to add here a couple of our uh, uh, keywords now if i will not add any experience here let's go with freshers like completely freshers i'm going to check i'm not selecting any city or any location also let's see how many number of jobs are available so i can see here without having any experience 939 jobs are there with zero experience with couple of experience and most of the time you will find these experience are also not genuine experience many training institutes are also posting their uh, ads so that when you will contact they will push their quotes so that's why Almost you can say very, very minimal jobs are there. Like all over India, you can see right now 939 jobs are available and that too, you will find that some experiences are also there. Now, in the same keywords, if I'm going to add here some experience, again, consulting experience, if you have, that is good. Otherwise, the relevant experience and later we will discuss about the relevant experience. If I'm going to add here four years with the same keywords without any location, now see here how many 
jobs are there so earlier it was 939 again that was also not the real number now it becomes 19773 so that is why you can understand here how much experience or how, what is the relevance of experience here and it is very obvious when someone is going to hire a consultant which is a high paying job which is a better profile job so obviously they need the experience and for that purpose they are going to pay you so obviously if we compare the user profile and a consultant profile it is like three times four times more the consulting uh, uh, package so that's why experience is very very important so till now we understood what exactly FICO and what is the prerequisite for the consulting role now let's understand the reality of our relevant experience why everywhere like whenever you will connect with any recruiter they will say that we need three years relevant experience four years relevant experience and why it is important now when you are going to uh, when i'm going to address this one you will find the biggest shock here why do companies are asked for relevant experience for a consulting job point of view now uh, in a uh, consulting profile if you are going to do something wrong for example you are going to do a wrong configuration so this wrong configuration can break the month and closing activities okay so if a wrong tax ratings you are going to do so it is going to be a burden on companies point of view right if you are going to do a wrong integrations so this is going to do lot of block like business billing point of view you are going to uh, create lot of issues so that means you are going to replicate the business process which right now business is using into one platform into one technology so that's why it is very very essential that you should have the required skill and the required experience one wrong posting logic if you are configuring then it is going to impact their financial statements p and balance sheet funds flow cash flow many problems will be there so that is why companies don't want like a freshers or sap learner will be there in the project or someone only having the theoretical knowledge practical exposure is not there that candidate also they are not going to have like you many people they are crazy about the certificates L like they got the xyz institute certificates and they feel that on the basis of certificates they are going to get the consulting job no it's not going to that companies are not looking here the certification if you are if you are if you are going for certification go for only sap global certification that will help you for your job point of view but, but again that is an added advantage important is how much relevant experience you have how, how much project experience you have how many projects you have completed during your learning so all these things are important for, for your consulting job point of view so they want the people who have work in the real system handle live business scenarios have like configured all real-time scenarios on related to different business process you have executed all the business process end-to-end -end. you must have heard this word very often end-to-end -end. we we want like two end-to-end -end implementation experience the candidate must have end-to-end -end experience related to this one how many actual rollouts you have completed what is the, your support experience so these are the reasons where freshers have struggle in sap fic role right and i'm sure if right now you are in the job hunting process definitely these are the things which right now i'm explaining you can connect with your experiences let me give you one real example imagine a company is going to close their books of account on 31st march now suddenly the trial balance does not match at this moment they connected with the consulting team and you are the consultant so grr balance is not uh, it's grr balance is high trial balance is not matching revenue is not reflecting correctly now the business call you and uh, they they want solutions from you now if the consultant is going to say that i learned these things in my training i will check my notes and i will get back to you now just imagine what will happen so the company is already in trouble because they are facing this current business situations and on this the consultant is saying that i will check my notes and i will give you the solutions so what they are expecting here they expect that the consultant immediately give the solutions and at least consultant should give the positive feedback. So what they are expecting that consultant should ask that is the GR posted but IR is pending, IR point of view is it pending or is revenue posted at billing or delivery, is it standard price calculation or actual price issue means actual price is calculated or not, whether the materializer closing activities are completed or not. This confidence only you will get from working on real scenarios, not from theory or not from any like some uh, basic configurations, whatever you have done in the system. So that's why most of the time or like almost every time you will find that clients are rejecting the 
candidates who have just completed the training or they have just completed a course. So let me be very honest here. So I will take here two examples. Two candidates come from S or the two candidates come for your SAP FICO interview. Let's say candidate A. Candidate A is like I have completed FI course and, and I know all the configurations. Candidate B. I work in real record to report process. I handle all the month end activities. I know the reconciliations related configurations. I know how to bank reconciliation need to be configured. I already work on or have I uh, earlier work on the reporting on SAP. These are the profiles only. Even if the candidate knows less than the candidate A as per the profile, still company will prefer the candidate B because candidate B here it is specific because configuration can be turned at the time of uh, like uh, once they will hire they can give you the configuration knowledge or during KT they can uh, share these informations but business impact understanding cannot so that is why the real experience is very very important when you are going for the consulting job then we should uh, then we should uh, choose this FICO FICO when I'm saying FICO FICO means it is related to the consulting profile so consulting profile makes sense if you have a strong financial account finance and accounting knowledge you have a strong uh, domain experience you already understand all the business process how the cost calculated how the tax filing will be there how the tax will be calculated what is the tax impact on purchase sales so all this business process you understand all these things the reporting point of view you can explain why the posting happened or why the current issue is right so if your plan is for i will do the sap fico and apply for the consulting job then without experience Sorry to say this is not going to work. SAP consulting is not about knowing the SAP screens. It is about understanding what breaks in the real business process and how the business actually working in the system and what are the solutions we are going to give to the companies. Now in this case, what, what are the solutions for the new people? In this case, uh, you should focus on the business process. First, you should learn the business process and you should work on the business process. And here the comes into picture that those P2P, O2C or R2R. P2P is nothing but business process related to procure to pay, order to cash, O2C and record to report R2R. So when you are going for like you are completely freshers or you have very minimal experience, like you have completed your graduation, post graduations. Now, instead of consulting job, you should pro you should prepare on these profiles. Now, let's talk about this uh, business process profiles, P2P, O2C and R2R. So as I already explained, P2P means procurement to payment. You are going to work on vendor invoices. First of all, don't think that I'm from the finance background. I have completed BCom. So I should not go for the P2P. It's not like that. So when you are going for any MNC, there you will find processes. It's not like the domestic work, like one person is going to do everything. So basically they are going to, or the in MNC, people are working in processes. Either you are part of, you are part of your P2P process, O2C process or R2R process, or in P2P multiple activities are there, you will do something. So that's why don't restrict that. I will work on only on these processes. Maybe you, you can, if you have multiple jobs, then maybe you can say, okay, I will go for R2R. But when you are going for interview or in the initial phase, don't restrict that I will go for this profile only. So if you are getting a profile like P2P, go for it. So there you will manage vendor invoices, GRR clearing, payments, vendor reconciliations. Okay, so here you will learn how the FIMM integration is going to work, how FI user, MM user, are they are going to talk with each other, how postings are happening in the background, what are the issues will be there in the real environment, right? So these things you are going to learn. Maybe six months, eight months, one year you work in this profile, then internally you can move to another profile, right? So let's take one example. So as an P2P executive, you are going to work on like uh, the invoice is blocked, how you will resolve it. Or let's say you already know that the GR done, the quantity mismatch is there, how you are going to handle it. If any price variance is there, then what we are going to do next, right? So if take, uh, any tax misma mismatch is there from the purchase order point of view, so what we are going to do? So when you later move to the consulting role, after having two, three years experience related to all this, that time these experience is going to help you. And these are nothing but your relevant experience. Already you have the relevant experience, then you will learn it properly, right? So with you will complete a couple of projects, then it is going to help you to get the consulting role. Without having the business process knowledge, immediately if you go to the consulting role, then the problem will be there. Similarly, if for example, let's say one issue is there that GRR clearing 
not working so there is some logic fail between this one due to quantity mismatch and all you already know all these things when you will be there in the support role because you know that in two years back when i was working in domain this type of experience already we have faced and that time we interact with our support team and they have resolved it so you have a vast experience from those areas so a fresher without having the p2p exposure when you are going for fico consulting because in fico consulting p2p business process will be there so that's why you don't have the knowledge about a P2P and suddenly you are learning something configurations. I don't know how much you learn pro it properly without having the domain experience and interview you will you will face the problem as well. Similarly, if you we'll take the example of order to cash, there you are going to work on billing, you are going to work on revenue postings, your customer accounting disputes, right? So you will understand here FISD integrations, revenue flow, credit collections, right? So all these things will be there. So uh, let's say here also you will uh, learn the real challenges like invoice is created but revenue is not match showing in your P&L like as an O2C professional immediately you can think that is billing is posted or not is revenue account is co determination correctly done or not if maybe some issue with this then you will connect with your support team so they are going to look into uh, this issue they will closely work with you so you have a regular call with your consulting team and later when you will be there in the FICO consultant that time this experience is going to help you so that means the same person who already worked two years back on these issues can confidently talk with the customer and that that is what custom uh, companies are looking from a consulting profile similarly if we we'll take the example of record report which is very very important so record report point of view you are going to work on gl postings you are going to work on all the reconciliation activities your month end closing activities or your financial reporting all these things you are going to gain during your uh, business profile point of view so what is the smart consultant entry path here is what actually work in the market like most sap consultant they did not started their career as consultants sometimes maybe because of luck because of demand or let's say uh, someone is already a ca qualified ca qualified cma from institute placement point of view they got a profile and after that companies are giving the training but in general the mass if we will take the example most of the time consultants are coming from the user profile only user profile and list profile right from these profile consultants are coming they started as ca their career as a sap user i don't have any experience let's say so i can i can join as a sap users i can work for two years after that i can upgrade to an list profile after that i can go for the consulting profile so when i will go for consulting so i already have two three years experience four years experience that experience will be counted right so you already uh, work earlier in the support analyst maybe after end user you have upgraded and you have uh, uh, worked for a couple of months couple of years on support role so that experience is also going to help you so this path is going to give you the relevant experience real sap exposure interview confidence right so without having this experience if you we'll immediately jump into the consulting interview then i'm sure you are going to face the problem you need to ask yourself honestly that do we have a real finance exposure finance point i don't count that whatever you have studied in college because theoretical knowledge is not going to help you right can i explain the sap postings logically can i get all this knowledge right or can a client trust me from the day one when when i will be there in a project if not then don't go for sap consulting role start with p2p o2c r2r enough jobs are there right so you will you can have a good experience on this area build your experience then move to sap fico right i already have my playlist on p2p r2r o2c if you don't have experience you are completely fresher i will request you go through those playlists learn those things try those things in the system any issue feel free to mail me or add your queries in the comment start working you will get a decent package because you are freshers or you have a domestic experience work there two three years experience then you can upgrade your profile don't blindly go for sap consulting role then rejections will be there and unnecessary frustration will be there so in end i will say that sap consulting is not about gathering some certificates it is about the trust and responsibility from the customer on us because when customers are going to or any employer is hiring any candidate as a consultant so what they are expecting that we have problem in our business we have problem and this person already having so much experience this person is having good knowledge on the software and they are going to help us in our resolving that issues that time if you feel that i don't know anything then 
situation will be nightmare for you as well as for the customer. So I hope you got some idea about what is FICU and this business process. Feel free to add your comments if any query. I will love to answer your queries. See you soon. Bye.